Hello, my name is Kiriath, and today we're going to talk a little bit about Warhammer 40k for a change, because we don't do that very often around here. That's a, a blatant lie. We do it all the goddamn time. And in fact, today we're going to sort of span Horus Heresy and Warhammer 40k, because we're going to talk about, well, who I consider to be the shittest character in 40k slash Horus Heresy. And there's a reason there's a crossover, as you will find out very shortly. The biggest bitch in 40k. So, to start out with, I'm going to drop a spoiler. It's a chaos chap. It's not an Imperium chap, it's a Chaos chap. Now, at the moment, I am building up a Nurgle army. And I'm also rereading the Horus Heresy series because I can't stop rereading them because I'm addicted somehow to reading those books. And through looking at other people's army lists and kind of getting a feel for what Chaos are doing these days, because I haven't had a Chaos army for ages, I've seen lists that include Typhus, I've seen lists that include Khan, and I've seen lists that include Araman. But I haven't seen any lists that include Lucius. And I was like... Thinking about it, Lucius doesn't really get a look in. No one really talks about Lucius. When it comes to badass warriors of the of the 40k universe, I don't actually hear Lucius's name all that often. And yet, he was one of the best swordsmen in the Horus Heresy. He was ridiculous. He was he was really good. Arrogant and childish and petulant and a complete bitch, but he was, at the very least, a very skilled combatant. And then it struck me as I was re because I've read the first two books uh, over the last couple of days. And then, then it struck me why no one talks about Lucius. And I think that's because a lot of people probably share the opinion that I'm about to share. Just before we get there, though, let's have a quick chat about the four gods of Chaos and their champions. So you've got Nurgle, whose champion is Typhus, of the Death God. Then you've got Khorne, whose champion is, of course, Khan of the World Eaters. Then, of course, you've got Tzinch, whose champion is Araman of the Thousand Sons, even though he doesn't want to be Tzinch's champion, but it makes Tzinch sort of happy to have someone who doesn't want to be his champion, his champion, if that makes sense. It's all about the whole kind of just as planned thing. He likes it, and unfortunately, Araman doesn't get a say. And then you've got Slanesh, whose champion is, in fact, Lucius the Eternal. Let's talk about the champions briefly. So you've got, you've got Typhus. Absolute machine. Badass. Walking tank. Terminator armor. Scythe. He can emanate death, decay, and destruction. I think, is he host of the, is it the Destroyer Hive he's the host of? But he can just spread death and play wherever he goes. He wiped out an Imperial world by himself, just so that the Imperium would know that he wiped out an Imperial world by himself. That's Typhus in a nutshell. He's an absolute monster. Then we get on to Khan. Khan is a berserker of epic proportions who is probably one of the best close combat combatants in 40k. He wields a massive chain axe and a plasma pistol and he ruins face. Everyone's face, including on occasions his own side. He is an absolute monster. Then you get Araman, who doesn't really want to be associated with Tazinch and is in fact working on a grand spell to reverse the rubric of Araman which caused all of his Thousand Sun brothers who weren't strong psychers to be turned to dust, which not really what he was after. Magnus kicked him out. He's like, no, fuck off, you've ruined everything. I mean, this is Magnus saying that, so you know you must have fucked up if Magnus says that you've ruined everything. Um, but he, in pursuit of knowledge of trying to build some sort of redemption for him and for his legion, has literally destroyed worlds. Like, he's let entire populations die, or has actively sacrificed them himself, just for little bits of information about the spell that he wants to weave. He is a fucking monster. He is crazy. Really over the top. One of the best bad guys in the 40k universe, in my opinion. And then we get to Lucius the Eternal. Whereas Typhus is an absolute monster because he's never lost a fight and, well, never died from losing a fight at the very least, and has burned countless worlds, or at least infected them with horrible diseases, Khan, too, has, as far as I know, never died in a fight. He's come very close a couple of times. He got impaled on the front of a dozer blade on a rhino once. That was bad for him. But as far as I know, Nurgle has never brought back Typhus from the dead. And Khorne has never brought Khan back from the dead. Then you've got Araman, who, as far as I know, again, has never died. May well have been defeated in combat, but never actually been killed. As far as I know, and as far as I've been able to find out, Tzinch has never brought Araman back from the dead. He hasn't needed to, because Araman can hold his own, like the other two. 
You'll note I said like the other two, not like the other three, because Lucius the Eternal has got to be the shittest, bitchiest character in the entirety of 40k, bar none. Genuinely. So, oh, it's because I'm re rereading the books. I fucking, oh, I hate him. He's such a terrible character. So, you know the Empress children had a slight problem with arrogance, right? That, that was part of the downfall. Arrogance and pride. Oh, we are perfect. We're the best. So on and so forth. Lucius, outstanding swordsman. His progression <laughs> is literally, I'm really good with swords. I challenge you, Garviel Logan, to a fight. Garviel Logan is a legend, by the way, of the Lunar Wolves, not of the Sons of Horus, because fuck them. Lunar Wolves all the way. Uh, Garviel Logan punched him in the face and broke his nose, which then meant that he just self-harmed constantly and uh, fell to chaos. Character progression! It's honestly so shit. He's like, he's got to be one of the worst characters. And we're not talking tabletop stuff here. I'm not saying, like, oh, his stats are bad or anything like that. Just in terms of what he can, like, what he does in the lore and how he reacts and how he behaves and how he became what he is to, like, what he is. He's such a fucking bitch. He gets his nose broken. And decides that now that his perfect features are ruined, on on the advice of uh, like basically a chaos fallen artist, just starts cutting his own face up whenever he does something that he feels is not adequate enough. You know, oh my my pauldron wasn't quite as shiny as it should have been. I better slice my own eyeball, or you know what? It's just fucking dire. And then he he eventually ends up on the loyalist side of the emperor's children when the Horus Heresy happens. Until he finds that his best mate is actually a much better commander than him, at which point he goes, uh, "Well, I, I wanted to be the, I wanted to be the good commander. I wanted to be the good commander. I don't like you anymore." And then he just goes back to the treacherous side of the emperor's children after selling out his best friend. What a fucking bitch! What a, what a colossal bitch! Then fast forward, he's arrogant. He's an asshole. He thinks he's the best. He's not the best. He's, he's just. He just happens to be better than the people around him, but he's nowhere near the best. Not in the galaxy. Not even in the area that he's fucking standing in at that time. Because he comes across Narakar Sharakin. And I think I pronounced that right, because it's a really weird name. But he is a Raven Guard guy, and uh, he just fucking outright murders Lucius. Just bins him. Lucius the fucking arrogant. Lucius the I am the best. Lucius the look how good I am with a sword. Just gets fucking annihilated. It's not even close. He just gets destroyed. He then wakes up in fabulous Bill's Apothecary. He's been brought back to life. Okay, fine, whatever. Fast forward a bit. Slanesh is taking an interest. Slanesh is like, Lucius, I like your work. Why Slanesh likes his work, I don't know, because he's clearly shit. He's way overconfident, he's incredibly arrogant, he's petulant, he's childish, he's just a, he's just a knobhead. But Slanesh is like, I like the cut of your jib, you are now my champion, I shall grant you the following power. When you lose, and you will lose, quite a lot, <laughs> from what I can tell, you will just come back to life. Sorted. Great. Brilliant. This also, by the way, goes to show what I've always suspected, which is that Slanesh is by far the fucking stupidest Chaos God out of all four. We're talking in terms of actual intelligence. And obviously, Tazinch is up there. I mean, I don't think Khan really gives a, Korn really gives a shit. He's all about the blood and the skulls. Nurgle is kind of hard to judge, but he wants stagnancy and decay, and he's working towards it. He's doing a decent job. Slanesh, though. Let's talk numbers. Let's talk statistics. Let's talk just not being fucking stupid with what you've got. So, Fulgrim likes to hold these gladiatorial contests every now and again when the Emperor's children aren't doing much, which is, I mean, for Fulgrim, he's never doing much. He's just fucking everything inside on his stupid pleasure planet. But... Let's say you have Lucius the Eternal, the champion of Slanesh. You have 10 highly skilled combatants. They fight him one on one. And I'm sure his failure rate isn't this high, but it just goes to illustrate the point, okay? Of how fucking dumb Slanesh is. So, the first six combatants Lucius kills, all right? They were highly skilled. They were some of the best in the warband. They're dead now. Oh well, gladiatorial thing. Fine, whatever. Slanesh has now lost six. Six highly skilled marines. The seventh guy kills Lucius. Wipes him out, fucking annihilates him. And he's like, ha, fuck you, did it. Gets a bit smug, gets a bit up himself, he's happy about it. 
The next day, he turns into Lucius, which means that Slanesh has now lost seven skilled marines, one of which was objectively literally better than her, his, their chosen champion. Then, the next guy manages to kill Lucius as well. Happy days, Lucius is dead again. Oh no, except he's back, which means that now Slanesh has lost eight highly skilled combatants, two of which were objectively literally better than fucking Lucius. You get where I'm going with this. Nine and ten, they both kill Lucius, but they both turn into him, which means that Slanesh is now down ten skilled fighters, and in, in compensation for that, has gained back a warrior who lost a fight with four of the guys who now no longer exist, who are no longer alive. Now, assuming Slash doesn't bring them all back, and given that Lucius the Eternal is known for the fact that he is Eternal, therefore it seems like quite a rare occurrence, it doesn't seem to me to be that Slash is just bringing every fucker back left, right and centre. It's the defining part of who Lucius is. It's what makes him the character he is. That's just, that's just dumb. That's just fucking stupid. Like, that... How does that work? What's the point? You're literally keeping a, an objectively shittier fighter alive just because you like him a little bit more than the people who have been able to murder him dead. It's just... It, I can't... I just can't handle it. Between his character progression and the fact that the most he can actually contribute to the cause of chaos is not staying dead even after he gets wiped out by god knows how many people, he's just such a shit character. He is the worst character for me personally in 40k, and he's the biggest bitch in 40k. A colossal bitch, an outstanding, incredibly irritating and worthless bitch, both in attitude, in deeds, and in how he survives just the war-torn landscape of the 41st millennium. Which is he doesn't. He just gets fucking murdered over and over again. But Slanesh likes him so he comes back anyway. Garbage. Garbage tier. Shame on you, Slanesh. Pick someone better. Fuck me. Actually, no, don't do that, Slanesh, because I don't want anything to do with that. That would be a bad time. Thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, then like the video. If you have any thoughts as to who is the worst character in 40k and who the biggest bitch in 40k is, other than Lucius, of course, then let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to watch another video, you can click the thingy in the middle. You can subscribe if you like, which would be nice. And you can check out my Patreon page if you want to. No pressure, but it'd be nice. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Toodaloo.